We are thrilled to be filming this series all about affordable eats here in Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, and we are spoiled for choice. There are thousands of places to go for a delicious, affordable meal. These two videos though, this is video two of the two-part series, so check out the other video once you've finished this one. They're all about some of our favorites, just gems, places we love to go for an affordable, delicious meal. We're gonna get into kitchens, meet the chefs, just show you some epic food. It's gonna be so good. Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Our first spot is a pizza restaurant, and it is a super cool spot. It is tucked away, hidden, it's a hidden gem at the bottom of the Metropolis building in the central city. And they specialize in pizza napolitana, so pizza from Naples, and it is Top notch, you're gonna love the spot. When you enter that Zamora, you feel like you're stepping into Italy. And when you arrive, you'll be greeted gregariously by Claudio and Lynn. Hi guys. Hello, hello. And look at this, this is where all the magic happens, this wee kitchen. Like, the, these guys utilize this tiny space and create absolute magic. So Thank Lynn you. is the, Pizza Yolo. Pizza Yolo, yes. Which is the person who, the chef who makes the pizza, and Claudio is front of house. Yes. And tell that's us, it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Um, tell us about pizza from Naples. What is Neapolitan um, pizza? So, pizza Napoletana is uh, mainly a type of pizza that uh, um, is based on a tradition in, in Italy. And uh, uh, what we base is kind of the uh, original and the tradition. That's where pizza was coming from, that's mm -hmm. what was invented. Mm -hmm. We try to bring a little bit of that tradition all the way here in New Zealand, you know? Yes. Um, especially for a lot of Italians, it's a kind of a bit of a homesick Taste kind of... Taste of home. Yes, exactly, yeah. like, you know? Yeah. Uh, you so know, special wheat? Yes. Special tomatoes? Yes. Special cheese? Yes. <laughs> it's all, uh, all uh, has been uh, important to one of our suppliers from the area of Napoli, actually. Mm -hmm to get the most authentic result, you need to get the products from the location, right? Yeah. So here you serve traditional pizza napoletana, mm. um, so margarita and marinara. marinara. yes. But how many pizzas do you have on the menu, guys? 37. 37, <laughs> so there's something for everyone. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like, um, you know, because we are abroad, we want to bring a bit of different flavors to, for everyone, right? And, uh, the, you know, the only way to achieve that, right, is to have such a big variety. That way everybody's happy, you know? So the, the dough uh, ferments for 48 hours. The tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Fior de latte. Fior de latte. Fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And then Some basil. Beso. So Lynn is making the classic margarita. Yeah, that's right. And it's going to go into that oven there. So. 500 degrees? Yes. 500 degrees. And then how long is it in the oven for, Lynn? Uh, 90 seconds. 90, 90 seconds. seconds. 100 seconds. Yeah, have to be very short. Wow. Okay. The magic's happening. <laughs> We're all stepping back. We've ordered two. Our two staples. Uh, margarita and a diavola, which has got salami and spinach all over it. And it's just coming out of the oven now. We adore this place, it is special, the food is magical, owner operated, and utterly, utterly delicious. We've ordered our standard two pizzas, the margarita and the diavola, but like we were talking about before, 37 options to choose from. So damn I for under $30, you got your pizza, you got a drink, and you're set. So I've got the margarita, with basil, tomato, Fior de latte, which is cow's milk mozzarella. Thomas has got the diavola, so salami, homemade chili oil, uh, spinach, fior de latte, tomato. Look at this dough, look at this crust. So you've got it, the bubbles, you've got the perfect char on there. Mm. Holy moly, absolutely unreal. The base is just sensational. It's the perfect, chewy, um, crispy, fluffy texture. 
and the ingredients are all just simple, clean. Ah, oh. so good. I'm obsessed with this restaurant. Being here, you feel a lot like you're in Italy. You're like, it's like you're in a little back alley place in Italy. And this, the hidden nature that we spoke about is very real here. If you spend any time at all ever in central Tamakimakoto, Auckland, I guarantee you've walked past this place and you probably have no idea it's here. I mean, everyone should know this place is here. It is that good, but it's very hidden. It's, it's right where we all go. It's right in the center of Tamaki Makoto, but it's a hidden gem. And look at this, oh, diavola covered in spinach, um, salami, chili oil. Mm. It's heaven, that mouthful. It's full of punch, full of flavor. The, the dough is perfection. It's incredible food. I mean, pizza is a winner dish, and this is this is top notch pizza. It's so good. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm getting a real hit. There was some fresh little parmesan grated on there after it came out of the oven, so you get this this tangy, salty hit from that in the mouthful. Far out. It's absolutely delicious. In this series, we're showcasing restaurants that offer great value dining experiences. So they offer the whole package, amazing food, generous service, an awesome atmosphere and vibe. Our next spot is Hello Beastie. This place is fantastic. We love this restaurant. They're all about creating a modern, contemporary New Zealand fusion food. So food that's inspired by the cuisines from New Zealand, Japan, Korea, and China. We're heading in. We really enjoy eating here. The food's great, but the environment's great too. So it's super buzzy, super fun. And it's all shared plates. So it's small shared plates, Asian fusion. So you order a bunch of things, load up the table. But if you can't decide off the a la carte menu, you can do the feed me menu. So you can get the kitchen to pick what you have. And that is a super neat way to eat. So you get surprised, you don't quite know what's gonna come. So it's a great way to taste different things on the menu. So here for 70 bucks, you can do that. And we think it's a great piece of value because it's super affordable because you're getting the whole package. It's super buzzy, it's a super fun place to come. The food is great. We're in the kitchen at Hello Beastie. I'm hanging out with executive chef and co-owner Stuart Rogan. Hi, how are you? I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Because I freaking love your food. Thanks very much. Um, what's the concept? Tell me about Hello Beastie. Hello Beastie. Um, we take inspiration from Japan, uh, Korea, and a little bit of Chinese, the Sichuan province. So, so garlic, chili, that fragrant Sichuan peppery taste as well. Um, and the inspiration was to, you know, keep it simple, um, but also vibrant and, and fun. Fun. You know? Yeah, the environment, you know. I think it's what's, what I love most about eating here. It is fun, like the food is playful, yeah. but the flavours are banging. Our first plates have arrived. We've got drinks on the table. There's some edamame some kingfish sashimi. I love eating this way because every dish is a surprise and the pace is set by the kitchen so you don't have to worry about you know what to order next. The food just comes. So this is kingfish from Uruakaka up north in Tetai Tokoro. It's sitting in a, a ponzu and yuzu sort of uh, sauce. There's some seaweed, there's daikon, radish and um, avocado cream. Mmm, that kingfish is sensational. Really fresh, lively, vibrant. The citrus from the yuzu really pops. Then you've got that creamy avocado, the crunchy radish, yum. Get a mummy. Mmm. Toasted sesame on there, yum. Our next dish has landed on the table, and this is that flow that Sheena spoke about, where we finished the kingfish, so the sashimi was gone, that was fresh, burst on the palate, 
and now the next dish has just slipped in as we're enjoying a drink. And it's a great place to just sit, enjoy a fantastic meal. And this one's neat. This is on the menu as KFC, but it's actually uh, cauliflower. So it's Korean fried cauliflower coated in a gochujang sauce. So a Korean um, red pepper sort of chili face, roasted sesame. Mm. Oh, pop and crunch of the, um, the coating, the batter on the outside, so deep fried obviously. And then the soft creamy cauliflower in the middle, full of flavour. Mm. Perfect. That, the edamame that we're still working through, goes so well with the drink. I'm having a beer, Sheena's got a wine, I mean, it's good, it's very good. Celebrate the best of kiwi, oh, yeah, kiwi yeah, ingredients. Yeah. So, like the fish on the menu, like you've got the provenance. I love that. Yeah, um, and that's one of our one of our main achievements. What we're always trying to achieve is like source, you know, sustainable um, seafood, fin fish. You know, ensure that you can. Um, directly and, and get deep down into where all our products are from and that, that gives the province and also gives story across the menu as well. How pretty are these sticky pork hock buns? So I've ripped it apart layered it up with um, some chilli, some um, Japanese black vinegar Wow, that pork hock is like air, it's so tender. It just dissolves in your mouth, but it's got a good sweet hit. And you've got the vinegar, raw, ramps it up a bit. Chili looks crazy violent, but it's not at all. It's just a nice tangle of spice. Wow, that's so light, so fluffy. Another cracker dish. I mean, they just win, uh, win, uh, winner every dish. It's so neat, peering over Gianno <laughs> Darnio's shoulder. Head more. chef here at Hello Beastie. Uh, Look at that, it's beautiful. So that's it, coastal lamb shoulder. Uh, we've got, we have this dish from beginning, one of our signature dish. Um, something that, a dish that we can't take it anywhere else, we will have the whole riot, walk, the whole riot outside <laughs> the door. So yeah. This looks delicious. Okay, no more talking, time to eat. I've loaded up my plate with that slow cooked lamb with that Sichuan creamy sauce, comes with rice. Um, some flatbreads and a koji sauce, and there's some chard broccolini over on the side there. But I've got rice, lamb, I'm a happy woman. Mmm! Mmm! Far out. That totally hits the spot. Creamy sauce. It is very much like a curry sauce. Just the faintest hint of that Sichuan pepper, but just enough to give you a bit of a zing on your palate. And then that lamb, it is so succulent and tender, it melts in your mouth. And look at these desserts to finish. Soft serve is sort of their classic dessert here at Alley Beastie. So we've got two versions. This one's in a cone with uh, toasted marshmallow, cherry jam, some chocolate chip cookies in there. We've got uh, this one with donut, and the soft serve itself is miso and vanilla. Wow, what a way to end. So the Femi menu is totally big enough. Like we are stuffed. So I reckon there's great affordability in there for everything you get. Like we said, we keep like cracking on about it, but it's so true. Just this, the, the environment in here, the staff are incredible, the food's incredible. It is such a neat place to eat. I'm gonna get some of this, um, this classic soft serve in a cone. Oh. Oh, what a way to end. That is delicious. Yum, I love this meal, everything about it.
We've made our way up to Ponsonby for our next stop and we're going to a restaurant called Bali Nights. It's a place we absolutely love going to. It takes us right back to being in Asia. Just a burst of flavor. It's all Indonesian food. So a real spread of a menu from not just Bali, from sort of all over Indonesia. Great food, great flavors, great people. Always got a good vibe. It's a really cool place. So let's get in and get a feast on the table. We're straight into the kitchen at Bali Nights. I'm super excited to be here. We've got rendang bubbling away on over that uh, flame. Behind Thomas here, there's satay on the grill. Um, Truly here is making um, a Balinese classic ayam batutu, a chicken dish with rice. It's, the whole air is just filled with the, the smells and the fragrances of Indonesia. So coconut, um, chili, galangal, lemongrass, lime leaf. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. You come to this restaurant and you are transported to Indonesia. <laughs> We're just hanging out with the co-owner of Bali Nights, Adriana Ferdian. Hi! I'm so happy to be here. We love your food so much. Thank you. Happy to have you here. <laughs> Let's talk about um, what you're about, like what the yeah. restaurant's about. Yeah, sure. Um, so our restaurant's called Bali Nights. It is, um, it is an Indonesian street food restaurant. Um, so it came about, there were like a bunch of us, um, first generation Indonesian immigrants, we're just sitting around going, you know, um, we miss our food, we miss our family, um, we can't go back because of the lockdowns and all of that. And so we're like, you know, there's not a lot of Indonesian restaurants here in Auckland. Um, and so we thought, hey, why don't we bring our culture here? Why don't we bring our food here? Because it's something that we're all so passionate about. Um, and Indonesian food is so, um, it's so tightly connected to culture. Like every single dish will have its own kind of origin story. It has like its, ancestral kind of pathways, its journey, its story behind it. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we, we wanted to bring into Auckland because um, Auckland's quite a, it's quite a melting pot, hey. It's, mm -hmm. um, lo there's a lot of different cultures here, um, but then not a lot of that is Indonesian at that time. And so we're like, okay, here you go. Here's our, here's our culture. We're bringing it to you, Auckland, ready or not. So. <laughs> We're here. Well, you guys are always like happy and welcoming and smiling, and the yeah. food is just so like it's traditional, but it's so f it's flavoursome and it's you're you're not dumbing down no, no. Um, the flavours yeah. for the kiwi palate. Like it's true, and you do feel like you're transported, which yep. I love. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna. I can't wait to get in. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. The menu here is loaded with Indonesian classics. It can be hard to make a choice. Heaps of vegetarian and vegan options as well. There's a whole side of the menu which is dedicated to sharing. And then the other side is not sharing. We've decided to focus on these plates just to show you what you can get for the it, basically every dish is under $25, so $25 an epic plate of food, you're well and truly satisfied. So we have gone for nasi champur, which translates to mixed rice. It is this delightful plate of food, loaded with all sorts of treats. There's salad, there's chicken, there's corn fritters, there's egg. This is um, ayam batutu, which is a Balinese classic. So a chicken, roasted chicken dish on rice, laden with this spice paste, cooked in this beautiful Balinese spice paste. So these are, you know, Balinese classics. And then we couldn't resist the satay ayam, so the chicken satay, because satay, so good. I reckon if you're new to Indonesian food, nasi champur is the perfect first meal because you get a taste of so many different dishes. This is nasi champur bali, so you've got some specific Balinese elements on there like this uh, satay lilit, which is a minced chicken satay. I've loaded up my spoon, I've got shredded chicken on this, a um, sayo urap which is a um, salad of coconut and bean. That is so good. Fiery kick from the chili. 
aromatic coconut tender chicken this food transports me to Indonesia I feel like I'm sitting at a roadside warung, a street stall, and just tucking into deliciousness. And that's the best kind of food, food that transports you to another time, another place. Amazing. This is the ayam batutu. The team was saying that this is a, a really intense dish. So it packs a punch with the spice paste, so Balinese spice paste, tons of turmeric, galangal, uh, lemongrass, makrut, lime leaf. Mmm. Mmm. I see what they mean. It's not spicy, spicy in terms of heat, so it's not very hot but it is spicy because there's just a ton of flavor, a ton of um, aromatics in there. You can really taste that lemongrass, the turmeric, but it's great. It's absolutely delicious. And satay time. We just couldn't say no to having satay, you know, chicken satay cooked over that flame and dunked it in the peanut sauce. Mm. Mm. Sweet from the ketchup manis, there was heaps of that being covered in it as it was on the flame. Peanuts, tiny bit of spice, always good. It's hard to beat chicken satay. I, I really enjoy this place, just like everywhere we've eaten in, in this video. So great atmospheres, um, a great vibe going on. So it really is that full package, affordable dining great food, great quality, but also great environments, great staff, great people around you, fun, just awesome places to be. So there's two videos in this Affordable Eats series. There's so much good food all around Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. So get out there, get eating, enjoy this amazing city. We've got so much good food. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this one.